Klossy Van Huffington at the post-game press conference of the Magic's PFK. Uh, they are a professional basketball club in the Netherlands, and they have just defeated the uh, Scheveningen Stroopwappels 99-66. I'm here with the main player of the game, definitely the de facto player on Magic's PFK, uh, Ross Beckering. Tonight, Ross, you had a great game, 42 points, 12 rebounds, 7 assists, 6 steals, and 13 blocks. Wow, <laughs> those blocks. Thirteen. I'm just laughing because those, that's amazing. 13 blocks, I've never heard of that before. What do you, what do you have to say about the game? Yeah, in my head, I actually I had counted 15 blocks, so I might have to talk to a few people about that. But I just thought we had a good game plan going in. Um, this week in practice, I, I pretty much took every shot. Uh, coach said going into the game, let's just make sure that uh, Ross is aggressive. And uh, I mean, looking at, looking at the stats for tonight, I only took 39 shots. So I mean, I wasn't as aggressive, I guess, as some other games this year. But that's, tr that's I, true, that's true. I mean, we did get the win, and that's all that matters. So uh, yeah, I guess not too much to say. Uh, my other question is you have such an all around game. Uh, you can shoot from anywhere on the court, you can dunk, you do a lot of things that uh, a lot of people you know, just can't on your team. You have to do everything. But uh, I'm just wondering, who was your role model growing up? You patterned your game after, I think, a certain player uh, where you're from. Uh, I think in the, let me see, what was this? The Lethbridge Tabor area. What was his name? I mean, yeah, I, I was lucky enough to uh, experience a player by the name of Jared Heidinger in my childhood. And uh, I mean, he was a, a walking triple-double. And uh, just watching him growing up, you know, he could really build that stat sheet. And that just uh, pushed me to be the player who I am today. So uh, I thank you, Jared, for that. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, of course, here in Holland, we've heard of Jared. Of course, everyone has, uh, it's a first name basis, Jared. Yeah. But, uh, sorry, I'm just amazed by those 13 blocks again. Uh, anyways, uh, actually, wait one second. I'm hearing from uh, our upstairs room, our upstairs production room, that you actually have something very important to say. What well, actually has nothing to do with the press conference at all, but, uh, just because you had that stat line today, we're gonna let you say it. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, you know, I, I'm one all. I'm all about shameless plugs, and uh, uh, right now I'm just gonna do a uh, you know a little feature on uh, Jared Heidinger's Bio 30 class and uh, this week's weekend homework chopper uh, list of words. We have number one, pliotropic genes. Number two, incomplete dominance. Number three, co-dominance. Number four, dihybrid cross. Number five, independent assortment. Number six, probability. Number seven, polygenic. Number eight, selective breeding. Number nine, epistatic. Number 10, autosome. Number 11, linked genes. Number 12, sex-linked traits. Number 13, bar body. Number 14, linked genes. And number 15, locus or bracket loci. Thank you. Um, any more of those uh, terms that us people here in Holland would have no clue of uh, what they're about? Um, no, I think that's all. Well, we'll do anything for Jared. And if Jared wants those terms said to his uh, class, then you know what, that's no problem. So thank you, Ross, for being here. Thank you to all the fans, all the media, the New York Times. Uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer, thank you all for being here as well, and uh, have a good night.